We are on a road trip to Gilequip and we're gonna go visit Corin. We're gonna see two trucks. and 24 inch tailgate with a tarp. It's got a shovel and rake rack out front. Something that we developed years ago. So all your shovel handles are on the outside of your load, not on the inside of your load. So you can put your shovels there, you can still full, full of top so nothing's getting covered in mud or crap. We developed uh, fold down side handles. A lot of guys have tried to copy them. Um, cars are 9 16 material little heavier and you can see that they just fold down quite easily. Fold down side is just so handy when you're loading, when you're working from the side. He's so excited to do the radius. Look at the honking. <laughs> Try to put fuel in. Oh. <laughs> and it's fully adjustable. So if this handle gets a bit loose or you wear a little bit, it's just a nut on the inside and you just adjust the nut and you can keep the thing and it keeps the rattle out of it. We get the tarp. We call it our own tarp handle. We get this handle sheet. that over. Can we see how it dumps? Yeah, see how it dumps. So this will set up with a full power pack rather than a PTO. PTO very optional if we can do that. That's a question that customers ask all the time. Yeah. Stuff. I don't understand. The PTO is going to add about $3,800 to the price of the truck. The benefit of a PTO is it's, it's faster and stronger. Stronger isn't the right word. Your, your power pack will put out 3,000 psi, your PTO will put out 3,000 3, psi. The disadvantage to a power pack is it only puts out 1.3 gallons a minute under full pressure. PTO, you can put a pump on it, and you can still get five gallons of minute under full pressure. So the power pack is a great system, very reliable, but it's really designed for two or three tons a day, not ten. So if you're a, if you're a, a depot where you're selling jobs only at all, so you're going out Saturday morning, you're trying to do 50 or 20 loads, yeah. it's really not going to use a power pack because you're going to burn it up. So basically a starter motor. That starter motor just will not take that heat. Right? So that's what you have to do. Okay. So we build our own hoist. This is a six inch cylinder so it's rated at six ton. And the biggest reason we built our own hoist is because we couldn't find no that would stand up. We bought when we started building these 29 years ago. And we had nothing. So we got frustrated with trouble. And decided to build our own voice. And it's working out really well. The reason we like to go with a southern voice is that we can keep the front rack trucked out. Kind of stays in line with the cab. Where if you put a post hoist in the front, which we can do and will do, um, it's higher. It's higher. It a drag it, a drag. You got much more wind resistance. And so this is the power pack we buy in. We use a, an American made product. It's a, a Monarch pump. There's many pumps coming in now from China. 
and we get all kinds of people stopping in and saying, well, we can sell your power car much cheaper, much cheaper. We're staying with the quality power car. You'll see a cross member every 12 inches where a lot of people aren't putting cross members in. They're using, like, trying to make it more money and it's lighter. But our experience is the other thing we use is a lower. And we bend our sides at the same time then the seams in the middle, so you're, you're seamless at the side. You've got your folded, bent, quarter-inch sheet that makes this side rail, and then we join the sheet in the middle. And the reason I talk about that is we're still using a high-quality 5083 material, and we bend it. We're, we're using North American or, or better product, little boxes. Storage container which works really good. Lockable, yep. sealed. Our sides are double all sides. So the outside piece that you see that's formed is the eighth inch material. 5083 is If you look at the bottom, it's tapered slightly so that when you fold it down, if there's some material here, it's a lot easier to close. If it was a full flat piece, you try to close it, you'd have to make sure everything was clean before you close it. But because we taper it a bit, it makes it a lot easier to clean. And then the inside skin is 3 16 The reason we do that is it takes a little more of the abuse. And if you dent the inside of it, you won't see the dent on the outside of it. So the body can Look nice looks longer. good for a long That's time. A We've gone to uh, stainless steel clevis. Try to keep the rust down. Tailgate release handle is now all aluminum. We used to have steel parts in there, but we got rid of the steel. Eliminate the rust. You just pop it down, the tailgate is free. Well, that's our basic landscape body in a luxury. We have leased a lot of them, and I know you've built a lot of them. And yes. everybody's really interested in that. Right the first time, that stand up for Keep, keep, keep learning from our customers. Yeah. Our customers are, our customers are the 